One could argue that Jeff Foster is the Jerry Seinfeld of Enlightenment. Open up one of Jeff's books, and in similarity to the television show Seinfeld, you might say it is about nothing. Jeff would probably take that as a compliment. Specifically, we are reviewing Jeff Foster's book, The Wonder of Being. This is a combined and revised edition of his two earlier books, Life Without a Center and Beyond Awakening. Jeff Foster is a master of relaying the viewpoint of the awakened state. He's like a doctor with a specialty. While other writers on the subject may be good general practitioners or have specialties in other areas, Jeff is the author to read if you want to see where it all leads. The reason for the allusion to Seinfeld is that Jeff Foster's books and teachings are remarkably simple. One could try to sit and read this book in a few days cover to cover, but it wouldn't do the book justice. The paradox is the simplicity is very meaningful. There is much to ponder and contemplate over. Jeff's core teaching is that your everyday experience is who you really are. You are life itself. If you remove the thought that the character you identify with is you, then what is left is just this moment. As written in the book, quote, truth looks like this, breathing, a cough, a bird landing on an electricity pylon over there, the wind blowing, the warmth of the mug in your right hand, a thought popping up about last night's football match, the buzzing of the television, end quote. He uses the terms just this frequently, and he's referencing everyday experience. There's also quite a bit of inquiry type questions throughout the book. Again, this is good for contemplation. Questions like, quote, will you be present at your own death? Who will you be at the moment of your death? Who are you at the moment of your birth? These can be thought-provoking or mind-stopping. The wonder of being isn't for everyone. If you're just starting out on your spiritual journey, this book could be maddening. The ego isn't going to want to hear that everything is just this. Buy the book anyway, and pick it up when you feel like it. Everyone will come to a point during their search where this book will be extremely rewarding. Once you've dropped your concepts of enlightenment being something supernatural, or making certain people special and others not, you will welcome the simplicity and truth found in this book. We largely review books that we like and think others will find helpful at EnlightenmentDudes.com and this book is no exception. The Enlightenment Dudes give the wonder of being a 9 out of 10 on our infinity scale. For more reviews come back to EnlightenmentDudes.com Dot com.